Sup, so, got an old school Kaiser. Yep, I got a bunch of these. Got a bunch more coming. I have been a man on a mission to find these. This box is an oddity. This says a KI-302B1. And then it says a KI-3303304B. And then up here it says 301. I, I don't think they knew what was in this box. I'm not sure. But you know what? It don't matter to us. Let's get it out of here. It's all in here. Got some paperwork. A couple of spare screws came with it. Yeah, look at this thing. Man, let's get rid of all this. So, obviously, I got this on the secondary market. It was represented as new uh, or like new in the box. Uh, never carried or cut or any of that kind of stuff. So, pictures, pictures showed that, but we'll see. Look at this anodizing. Full titanium scales, no backspacer, uh, backspacer, just got them offsets. I believe a titanium pocket clip. I'll find out. Yeah. Titanium, stamped titanium pocket clip. It's only tipped down. It's the only option on this one. And a lot of these older Kaisers were that way. All right, let's get in it. Look at this blade, man. This, this is why I picked, I had to buy this. It is a layered VG10 blade. Look at that thing. I mean, it's beautiful. Definitely represents as new. I mean, that's 100% the factory edge. That has not been sharpened outside of what came out of the factory. Let's check this action. I'm going to guess it's on washers. Yeah. Look at that thing. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Pretty girl, pretty bird. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah, so that, that lock bar can, can impact that action pretty quick. Got to pay attention to stay off of that lock bar. But just the way I'm having to throw it around, it's very smooth, the action on it, but it screams washers all day long. All right, well, let's get in it. I mean, we may polish up some washers. We may, who knows what we'll do. Uh, need a screwdriver. Okay, well, let's, let's get the right hardware. Okay, we just need a bit change. That's all. Mm, it's turning. I have to thin, I have to thin this up just a little bit. It's not quite seating as well as I'd like it to, and I'm, I'm jumping there, so I'll be right back. Okay, much better. Just did a little filing on it and brought it down just a slight amount. I'm going to have to put this on the edge of the bench and put some pressure on that blade. I hope I don't have to boil, boil it. I mean, it appears to be turning. No, it is. Still giving me grief, though. I mean... Must have a lot of Loctite or something on it. There, I got it. You got a Loctite? 
doesn't appear to have any. Huh. Okay. Well, it was not making it easy for me, that's for sure. All right, let's get the rest of these screws out and see what see what it holds for us inside here. Big head, tiny screw. There we go. I say we're free. Mm, everything is holding on for dear life. Yeah, for sure it is. Yeah, washers. Ooh, grease or something going on in there. Maybe the anodizing is, you know, it's fighting that off. Let me get a little pry bar and see if we can pry that apart without too much damage. Or how about no damage? Let's go for let's go for the no damage. Gotta get a good bar though. Everything I'm grabbing is not good. Here we go. Let's try this one. Yep, that worked. There we go. Yeah, so it's sort of polished here to manage the bearing. Interesting. Kind of been polished, I guess. I can see that they they tried to knock that down. Somebody did. And it's got a ceramic ball. It's not a steel ball, detent ball, it's ceramic ball. I mean, I don't really see anything in here that's a root for cause or cause for alarm or anything. I think we just clean it up, take a hard look at these washers, make sure that they are tippy top. The blade looks semi polished where those bearings are running. Yeah, it's just going to come down to those, to the washers for sure. Try to make sure they're shiny. And working to maximum capability, make sure they're flat. That's what I find most times with washer knives when they're not running really well, is they're not flat. And what I mean by that, they've got raised burrs and... You know, they're just, they're, there's no way for them to run smooth because they're not smooth. But we're going to, we're going to run, we're going to smooth these off, polish them up like mirrors. Get my shine box out. Yeah, it didn't take much. Went from, it looked like just the edge was shiny to the whole thing looks like a mirror. Yeah, buddy. All right. Next. I double it up here just so it's a little softer. I don't know. I think, you know, it's one of those things where I can't prove it's working better, but... I think it does. And then these belts, I clean them up with an eraser. You know, after they get funky enough, I'll take an eraser and clean them up. All right. Well, they both look stunning at this point. Look wonderful. Ready to go to work. Which is what we're going to do. We're going to put them right back in this knife. Um, 
Hopefully that came from that side. Yeah, it did. It says it's captured. Is that captured? It can't be captured because, boy, I fought to get it out of there and I had to put pressure on the bench. Yeah, it's not captured. It could have been captured. It's got a pivot that, that is capable of being captured, but it's not captured. Say la vie. All right, we're in the home stretch. What are we doing? There we go. Goodness. I have to put that in by hand. Yeah, it's not. It's not wanting me to start it with that. That's for sure. There we go. That's how easy it was. Just couldn't do it with that screwdriver. That screwdriver still not recessed well. And so, I'm going to take a break from it. I'm going to file it some more. I'm not going to run that screw anymore with a blade that's not functioning right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this screw in all the way down and it'll hold me flat. Yep. So now I don't got to worry about anything popping apart, but I'm going to go work on this and thin this up a little bit more. Okay. Clean that, that blade up quite a bit. And yeah, it fits in there much better. Let's get that out of there so I don't cut myself. Yeah. Well, then I say that and what's it do right away? It just jumps. So I've got it on the edge of the bench so that I can push down on that blade a little bit, try to hold that pivot still. There we go. Got a tiny little bit of rock in there. Well, let me get this other screw in it. Be measuring whether it's put together well and I don't have all the screws in it. That don't make no sense. Now let's check it. Yeah, it's got just a tiniest little bit of Tiniest little bit of blade play there. I'm going to try to get just a little bit of turn on it. Yeah, there we go. About an eighth of a turn. Oh, yeah. Rock solid. Yeah, maybe too much. Yeah. Like all washer knives, you gotta run them. All right. Well, let's check it. 
let's check it in, check it out. Let's finish up. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that. Get this. There we go. And we don't need that. All right. Let's talk about this action. So, for a washer knife, it's locked up tight. Thumb flick. That thumb stud's only on one side of the knife. I mean, very little shaking to get it to come down. Almost just one one purposeful shake, yeah, like that, and we're home. I mean, it's actually running pretty good for a washer knife. You know, compared to a bearing knife, mm, it's probably a C-level action. But for a washer knife, I mean, it's an A-, minus, maybe, B+. Plus. It's pretty solid. It's actually running pretty good. I wonder what it looks like if I get that lock out of the way. I mean, it's kind of free, right? Ooh, a lot of tension on that lock bar. That's something I didn't look into. I don't think I'm going to at this point either. It's actually running pretty good. And this is not going to be a carry knife. It's, you know, it's a showpiece for sure. And it's because of this blade. Look at this. That layered VG10, man. That is so cool. Wow. Alright. Um, ergonomics. So, like a lot of the Kaisers back in that moment of time, this is very Hinder-esque in its grip and fit and texture. It's got this uh, jimping cutout on the back. The only thing it's missing is the jimping that goes here, which, you know, really goes along with the Hinder line. But... Jimping in the scales, jimping in the back of the blade, and it's all combat level stuff. Very aggressive. And so the grip on this thing, uh, this huge finger guard, not so confident, confident, very confident. Yeah, this thing just swoops right up to the top of the scale. I am very locked in here. No hot spots. Now the jimping's aggressive, so you know you're digging in. But yeah, this thing... You know, ergonomically, this thing's wonderful. Yeah, and it's just kind of the traits of the day. These knives were made, you know, really kind of copying, copying that hinder process. I mean, and you can see it. It's definitely got that influence. Um, pretty solid piece, man, for as that goes. Uh, this pocket clip, let's check it out. I can get over that thick stuff. Yeah, it runs perfect. It's got a little profile sticking up, you know, slightly less than half an inch, maybe around a half an inch. These two screws give themselves uh, uh, a grip for to grab onto. Pretty decent tension. I mean, not, not near enough tension here in the thin stuff. And then where I like to carry in that back pocket, yeah, there's not near enough tension on that pocket clip. So if I was to carry this, I would have to get a little more tension on it. Because if it was in this back pocket and I took off at a run and I'm just running or tumbling down a hill or whatever, there's a chance that this knife comes out of this pocket. Yeah, and that, that's not acceptable. So the pocket clip, it needs some tension, but as far as how it runs and one hand in, one hand out, it's pretty solid. Uh, let's check it for safety. Can I make blade contact? None there. Ooh, that tip is close. Look. But no tip contact. The clip is okay. And then no chance of incidental blade contact through the scales in the back. I um, wonder if that blade is sharp. Man, I hope, I sure hope it is because it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, wow, is that thing sharp. Okay. All right, well, so price and availability. I don't think the availability is going to be there, but let me see what I can find. Yeah, I can't find one anywhere. Not on AliExpress or eBay or any of the retailers. I can't find one. 
So, I, if nothing else, you got to check it out with me. I appreciate y'all watching.